All right, hello everybody, Zaxter99, back with another first play on launch day. This is a familiar looking game, a familiar looking RPG made right out of Unity called Grind Zones. Now, I know I've seen this game before. I think I've reviewed it before, but I think it was a little bit different. Um, I know the one that I reviewed back like three years ago, three and a half years ago came from a Unity Asset Kit. This one looks like a similar art style, but it looks a little bit different. And I kind of think that this game's been on Steam multiple times. I could be wrong, but right now, guys, it's showing Grind Zones by Adnaco Games and Myanoid and published by Kishmish Games. $3.99 here on Steam. And... It shows today as being the launch day for Grind Zones. It has no reviews, um, no key reviews as of right now. And as you can see, today is May the 9th, 2019. So we're going to find out if Grind Zones, this adventure PvE casual RPG action game, is worth your $3.99. And we'll be back right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back. So when we launch the game, as expected, this is what we get, our standard Unity launcher. We're just gonna go ahead and hit play here. And we're gonna hope for the best, guys. All right, here we go, guys, we're ready. One day the wonderful and beautiful world was filled with dark magic that has awakened the fallen. Oh my God, okay, so um grind zone start game exit um okay so no resolution options no sound options no no nothing just start game or exit right and character list okay i'm glad we could create more than one character because this game looks truly epic i mean um what the fuck kind of dance is that is this guy like is this guy, like, humping the air or what? Alright, create character. And we can be either a swordman, basically a warrior. A berserker, which is like a barbarian with an axe. Look at that razor-thin axe. Or we can be a wizard. How come all of them have exactly the same face? Exactly the same hairstyle? No cape or anything for the wizard? Like, what the hell, man? This is so bad. All right, what, what the, what the fuck is gonna be my name? What the fuck? All right, let's just be a swordsman, guys. And uh, hit enter. Okay, I can't hit enter. Okay, so just hit accept. There we are, what the fuck? Exactly. All right, let's go. Okay, so we spawn here. We got crazy music going on. And I do get the music turned down on OBS, so it's not nearly as loud as probably you would hear it normally if you bought the game. Your abilities will help you. Okay. So, abilities. Where's skill? Shockwave? Why am I a, why am I a warrior, but I have, like, magic spells? White Spirit and Shockwave that costs mana. And this is my mana down here. I guess this is my health. Level 1. Oh my god, guys. This is so bad. Okay, so if I click this... Okay, so I get it down here. So I can cast magic spells as a warrior. That's great. Item. Broadsword and a shield, which I already have. I have 50 bucks. Um, quest. No quest to start off the game. That's great. And there's my status, all my bullshit. This feels like a uh, an asset flip. Okay. Whoa, what is going on with the controls here, guys? I am just barely hitting W, and look at that slide. Seriously, I can zoom in a little bit. Look at this slide, guys. Like, I am barely tapping A. 
Look at this slide. Like, these controls are absolutely horrible. Hey, what's up, dude? Why am I inside the guy? Like, why is there no collision detection between me and him? And why do I look exactly like the guard? It's exactly the same asset. Like, they really spared a lot of expense here, didn't they? And I can't talk to him or anything. Alright. Why did that not break a box? Oh my god, guys. Really? So my sword won't break a box. Okay, well what if I use one of these mighty spells that I have? Will that break it? Nope. How about that one? Nope. Well, these are some strong damn boxes, I'm just saying. Alright, I don't even care about that, guys. Here we go. We got it. Let's zoom in as much as we can for this epic fight with a zombie. Okay, then this is just madly, you know, just mashing my left mouse button. And I split the zombie in half and he's spraying blood. But I can't, I can't rotate the camera around or anything. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? How are you? Nice. All right. Yay, look at that. He, why is he jiggling like that? Look at that jiggle. Like, stop moving, dude. Alright, guy, what's up? Why is this guy moving the box as he comes after me? Rawr, where's the zombie sounds? There's no zombie sounds in the game. Okay. Cool. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, why are these zombies just falling out of the air? Okay, now I'm starting to get mad. Level up. Again, look at the jiggle on this shit. What the hell? Whoa! Okay. Oh my god, guys, this is so bad. Oh, we, we did get a coin out of it. We can kill those things. Okay. Whoa, there... Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute, where'd it go? Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh my god, those things just flying everywhere. Okay, wait a minute. Look at all these zombies coming up for me. Like, what is the point in killing all these zombies when they're just spawning in, like, midair? Okay, look. Look, guys, I bet you there's more spawn back over here. Yeah, see, they're just spawning. These things are just spawning in the middle of the air. And there we go, getting another. That's a, that's a pretty extreme wig out there, guys. Yeah, I don't think you need quite that much uh, nerve reaction on your zombies. All right, watch, guys. We're going to get one just pop out of the air. You ready? Ready for it? You ready for it? Here it comes. Watch, you'll probably spawn, like, right here. Not that one. We're going to get one spawn right in the middle of the air and drop to the ground. It'll spawn and it'll... Yep, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? They just spawn these motherfuckers in the air and they fall to the ground. Ain't that great? What a great game. Like, I bet you, instead of following this trail, like, I bet you I can, like, jump over these trees and shit. Keep jumping, dude. There, what, what did I tell you? I'm telling you, I have played so many bad games at this point. That why would I want to go through down this trail and fight all these motherfucking zombies when I can just go around the back or whatever? I mean, treat this like your typical Game Guru game where you don't even want to fight the idiotic zombies or enemies. Uh, all you really want to do is just look for shortcuts around everything. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay, again, okay, looks like that might be where I have to get to. That might be the uh, right coordinate to get to. Just keep jumping. Jump over houses. There we go. Absolutely. See, we skipped all those zombies, guys. And now we can enter a fortress. Sweet. Here we go. Okay, is this a... Oh, let's enter the forest. Okay. How do you save? Right there. Okay. So, guards. These guards do, like, absolutely nothing. Okay. This guy can't go up the stairs? Like, really? 
Like, why is it cracking like the screen? Look what I do this. Look how it like cracks like. This is so dumb. All right, whatever. Again, look at this fucking wig out on these guys. We got big zombies there. All right. Um, again, they're just spawning in the middle of the air. All right, there's nothing I can do here. I can't jump around this shit, can I? Nope, respawn. Okay. How do we, um... How do we get out of here? Okay. Okay, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. There's nothing to do here. There's nowhere else to go. Guys, we've we've beat the game because we can't go any further than this. Look, there's nowhere else to go here. This goes back to the forest. We can't go this way, obviously. Um, these guys are way too strong to kill. And even if I could kill them, why would I want to? They just respawn. They just pop out of the air. I can't jump anywhere. I can't jump off to my death and whatever. And uh, there's nowhere to go over here. So this is there's nothing to do here, guys. I can't jump up on this shit or through it. Okay then. Well, let's uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go back to the forest, and we've just respawned back. At so guys, we have a little bitty forest here, and we have a little bit of a fortress, and that's it. And you can actually jump over trees. And well, let's just go and go wandering off, shall we? Let's see if I can fall off the edge of the world. I'm going to guess I'm going to be able to fall off the edge of the world. And the game will probably not have any invisible walls at the edge of the world. Because, I mean, why... Here we go. Edge of the world already. I mean, why... Why actually bother preventing a player from falling off the edge of your stupid map? That looks really... That looks amazing, guys. There's... Oh, my God. All right. Who's going to bet that we can jump off the edge of the world? I'm going to bet we can. Way there we go and they don't even set any like you know a good developer a good game guys if you was able to jump off the edge of the world as soon as you did it would respawn you back on the world because it would actually have a few lines of code to say hey is our z coordinate which is z is like your height is our z coordinate uh on our plane of existence if it's not then respawn the player but even the most basic of games would respawn the player and not let the player just fall endlessly forever. But no, these developers, uh, they don't care about that. Guys, this game is absolutely horrible. Um, we're going to go ahead and exit this. We're going to start the game. We're going to create another character. We're going to go ahead and create a wizard. And uh, yeah, I like how you have to actually erase, enter your name. Um... Quiz. Okay. Accept. There we go. Let's, wait a minute. No. There we go. Start. Alright, so now we got a wizard. And what kind of spells do I have on my wizard? Skills. Oh, imagine that. Same two spells on my wizard as I had on my warrior. That makes sense. See what I mean, guys, when this feels like a, an asset kit that just seems like a bare bones, you know, starting point? That's exactly what we have here, guys. I mean, this is exactly the same spells that I could have had on my warrior, except now I'm just, uh, I'm swinging a torch instead of a sword. Um, this is absolutely horrible, guys. I mean, and these controls feel so god-awful. Like, they feel completely broken. They feel incomplete, uh, you know... This is just bad on so many levels, guys. $3.99 for this. Let's go ahead and give it my score, guys. Value at $3.99. This game's a fucking joke. First of all, even if you want to play the game, guys, all you have is you have this little trail here. It goes over this bridge. You can't... None of this shit you can do anything with here. Uh, you have a bunch of the same exact asset zombies to kill over and over again. 
um, and you go down this trail, and you end up going up, fight, get into that cabin. Now, if you go on the trail, all that's going to happen is you're going to get your ass beat by these fucking idiots. As you can see, my health over here. And, uh, maybe I can sit up here in the tree and get my health back. Yeah, because they're going to continue to fire at me and they're not going to be able to fire up. So this is the kind of AI you have, guys. You can jump into a tree and restore your health. Like, this is bad on so many levels. But I'm just saying, even if you wanted to play all the content there is, and even if you wasn't jumping over trees and trying to uh, skip over shit, there's not that much content here to play, guys. There's really not. You have a little bit of area. You start off right here, and then you have this little forest map area here. And then after you go through that, you come up to the little uh, little area where you go in the fortress right here. I mean, I can, and you can basically just take a shortcut and you can beat the game in just a couple of minutes. And there you go. I mean, and then once you go here, there's nothing else to do except either go back out to the forest or come down here and eventually die to these zombies. But there's nothing else to do here, guys. There's no switches. There's... There's nothing that I see here that's going to allow you to progress any further. Like, this is as bad as you can get. You basically have, you have less than five minutes worth of content here, and it's really bad, buggy, laughable content at that. Value, guys, at 40 points, if you spend $3.99 on this, guys, you're getting a negative value. You're getting ripped the fuck off. Value, negative 40. Usually, in a good game, a great game, it would get 40 points out of 0 out of 40. I'm giving this game a negative 40 uh, points on value. Next criteria, guys, is controls and bugs. Well, first of all, look at the controls. Look when you basically just barely hit D, you go into a slide. Uh, it causes really awkward, gaudy controls. Look at me when I when I fire. I'm Look, I'm pointing up here, guys, and I'm hitting my left mouse button to fire and look I'm firing down here so I'm trying to fire up this way and I continue to fire the same way how about if I fire up here look at this on fire I'm look where my cursor is guys my cursor is right here and my guy fires this way how about over here same thing like I guess you can move you have to point your character where you want to go but I feel like a good game like this you would fire wherever your cursor is not wherever your stupid character is is facing. It's just lazy, incompetent uh, controls and development. This is an asset kit, guys. It's a terrible asset kit at that. Um, but I mean, I'm just saying it's really, really buggy. We saw the the enemies once we sliced them in half, and how uh, part of the body was bouncing all over the screen like it was on drugs. Uh, we saw how I can jump over trees to skip content. Uh, we saw how I was able to fall off the edge of the map. Uh, I mean, does anybody think that this looks like, you know, does anybody seriously think this looks like a good game? Because, yeah, I mean, we can just... I bet you we could come over this way and jump off the edge of the map, too. It looks like they have some kind of invisible wall right there. But I guarantee you, we fell off the map, the map on the right-hand side. I bet you we can go to the left-hand side at some point and fall off the edge of the map as well. I'm just saying. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You can get it. You can. Let's go. Oh, my God. This is so bad. There we go. There we go. Alright, now let's go jump off the left edge of the you know, left edge side of the world. Or we can go this way. I mean, what an amazing game, huh? I mean, you can see that the developer of this game really put a lot of work into this game. Yeah, here we go off the other edge of the world. And we And we'll fall endlessly forever. So... Controls and bugs, guys, with this many bugs in the game and the controls being as slippery and gaudy and feeling as bad as they do, the controls and bugs 
gets a negative 20. Um, it's worth 20 points, it gets a negative 20. It's that bad. Uh, next criteria is, um, oh yeah, forget about fun. Well, I mean, I skip right over fun. Guys, I never forget my fun factor. Um, fun is worth 30 points. How much fun is the game, guys? Well, I mean, unless you're trying to do this as a joke, I think the only fun you could have in this game would be buying it for somebody else and laughing at them and laughing at their misery as they play it. Uh, you guys might be having fun by watching me play this awful piece of shit, but as far as fun to play, hell no, this game ain't fun to play. Um, negative 30. So negative 30, negative 40 for value, negative 20 for, uh, you know, controls and bugs, and then graphics, guys. It's just a fucking asset kit. Uh, it doesn't deserve any kind of fucking credit because this is just an asset flip, and it's an incomplete asset kit. It's a horrible asset kit as it is, and the developers are just lazy assholes who didn't put any code or time or work into the game whatsoever, and I feel like they keep launching this game over and over and over on Steam, hoping to get some kind of praise, and they just keep failing. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the, game, the developer keeps getting kicked off Steam, the game keeps getting kicked off Steam, and they just keep coming back under a different name. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I know I've seen Grind Zones up on Steam uh, as a new release at least like three times over the past several years. So anyway, guys, um, graphics and sound, it gets a zero. You add it all up, guys, negative 40 for value, negative 30 for fun, and negative 20 for controls and bugs. You wind up with a negative 90. Um, this game is an abysmal piece of shit, and it definitely makes my miss series. I want to go and thank you guys for watching. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know if you guys agree with my score. And this game should be flushed down the toilet uh, as quickly as possible. But this guy, this game is absolutely terrible, guys. Uh, this is Grind Zones. This has been Zach 29 And this makes Miss number 55. At this rate, we're going to be at 100 Miss videos by the end of this year. That's sad. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a good one out there. Take care.